Good morning, traders. It's Chris from the DAXtrader.co.uk. It's Friday, the 24th of August. This is DAX Technical Analysis Summary. And before we proceed, please ensure you read the trading disclaimer, which will be in the description below as you're watching this video on YouTube. All right. So for today, we are again trapped in a wedge. We have expanded this wedge out from yesterday's webinar. And you'll notice here that the base of this wedge is beginning to form a stronger. Uh, center line potentially this is what we've been considering um, come and join us in the webinar on Monday and we'll look consider that in a bit more especially if we get a break today but we're into that kind of eight o'clock chaos period and whilst yesterday showed us a range of what 60 points maybe today is going to give us a little bit more so if we were to just sort of measure out a couple of these lines we want to look for a break above either of these highs or either of these lows. These are the ones that are of interest, not the three here uh, that you can see most recently from yesterday's session, but we wanna break below the low of yesterday and then below these two, 37.27. That zone needs to go uh, to the downside in order to show any kind of signs that this is gonna move. So the distance between the top and the bottom of this wedge is about 125 points. You would imagine if we do get a break with momentum and strength, then it will probably move at least that amount and the analogy that i gave today was of a spring if you remember from high school physics i can't believe i just said high school you know what i mean um when you press down on a spring you're going to get this potential energy build up and that potential energy will eventually move into kinetic energy or movement and it's going to ping off in one way or another so uh, we probably want to wait for that to happen and friday towards the end of the month yeah maybe it could happen as far as news is concerned today you've got fed powell speaking later on uh, this afternoon um, but uh, really i think traders are just waiting for something a little bit more significant because yesterday didn't really provide us with i think the fireworks that were expected so the us and china put into force their mutual punitive tariffs uh, the first trade talks between them uh, didn't bring any breakthrough in that escalating conflict and uh yeah it would kind of explain why we're compressing as uh, we're waiting for something a bit more significant as far as the strategies are concerned with bbr sign no particular signals of yesterday if you want this indicator uh for metatrader or even this chart book on sierra charts then you'll be able to find that as a member on the forum if you want more information about that go to the website thedaxtrader.co.uk and you can find all the links that you need there otherwise send me a message on telegram and the links for that will be in the description below so just click down there and you'll be able to see that um, so nothing particularly from yesterday other than fading the piercings of the bands uh, interesting little tag on the median line there or center line should i say of the bondage band uh, the envelope strategy yielded nothing yesterday as far as signals. The most recent one was down here on Wednesday. Volume scanner, there was a sell signal yesterday afternoon, but with trading volume pretty much compressed within a 60-point range, it's difficult to really provide anything of interest on there. Um, and the points of control using this TPO, the exposed ones to mark out on the charts would be 12204, 12448, and... Uh, Hmm. ignore the 448 that's already gone I'm not sure why that was still there uh, 204 and 664 are the two most recent ones as all the previous ones up until then uh, have been taken out quick glance at the key levels daily pivot 372 volume weight uh, the VWAP 376 and point of control 365 all pretty close to each other there i'm interested in seeing a break above 396 or a break below 328 and uh if i pause the video there the rest of the numbers and that is all there is really to say uh, the summary is the fact that the market is consolidating we really do need to see a break above this 458 483 zone that i talked about earlier in the week in order to uh reverse this bullish trend uh, bearish trend should i say that we're in major swings are still bearish below those levels uh, but the minor swings are definitely starting to uh, minor bullish swings started to slow down somewhat so i'm going to leave it there for today uh, i'll be back again on monday with another one come and join us at seven o'clock 
which will be the usual webinar time. I'll post the link in the Telegram channel. Get yourself in that channel by clicking on the link in the description below. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and send me a message if you want any more information. Have a great weekend, guys. See you later.